Hi guys, it's Hannah. I'm a nurse here at Ova Egg Freezing. I am going to demonstrate how to do your trigger shot today. So first I just wanna say congratulations, you made it to trigger, yay. And I just wanna remind you that this medication is very time sensitive. So I know with some of the other medications you were able to do them anywhere within that window, but this medication is super important that you do it at the exact time that your nurse told you to. All right, so let's get to it. First I'm gonna demonstrate how to do an HCG trigger. So you may be doing um, 10,000 or 5,000 units of the HCG, depending on your dose that your nurse tells you to do. So I will go through a 10,000 unit demonstration. You may have HCG, Novarel, or Pregnil. They are all interchangeable. You may have either one. You're going to need um, your three milliliter syringe with an inch and a half needle. You're gonna need an additional inch and a half needle used for administration. You may need an alcohol swab and your sharps container. So first you're gonna grab the medication and take it out of its box. Within this box you have um, one vial of water, which is used to reconstitute the medication. And then you have one vial of powder. You may have two vials of 5,000 if you're using um, the 10K dose. So first you're going to take your syringe and you're going to draw back to one cc or one milliliter of air. Then you're going to uncap the needle. Take this cap off. And then you're gonna inject the one cc or one milliliter of air into the water. So push the needle all the way in, inject the air, and you'll flip the water upside down and draw back one cc or one milliliter of the water. You know, set it back down and pull it out like this. If you have any air bubbles, go ahead and give it a little flick. Then you'll pop off the cap to the powder, the medication itself. Now we are going to mix the water with the powder so you're going to puncture the vial of medication. You're going to inject the entire cc or milliliter. It should dissolve automatically, but if it doesn't, just go ahead and give it a little twist like this. Make sure you don't shake it because shaking it will create air bubbles and that'll just make it harder for you to draw. Then you're going to flip it over and you're going to withdraw the needle so that it's under the fluid. Once it's under the fluid, you're gonna pull back, just retracting the needle so you're able to draw out all the liquid that's in there. Okay, you put one cc of fluid in, so you'll be getting one cc back out. You'll take that out of the vial. Then you're gonna recap this needle. Twist it off, and it'll go into your sharps container. You're going to take the other needle and twist this needle on, making sure it's on there tight so the medication can't seep out the sides. You're going to pull this cap off, and before you get ready to administer, you're just going to push up ever so slightly to see that little drop of fluid on the top. That means you're priming the needle, getting it ready for administration. And you're going to take your alcohol swab, you're gonna get ready to clean the skin before you inject. The easiest way to do this is to stand up and get yourself in front of a mirror. If you're right-handed, I want you to go on your right side. Likewise, if you're left-handed, I want you to go on your left side. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna go on my right side here for the demonstration. So for this one, you're gonna go in the upper outer quadrant of your butt, which is right here. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna clean that area of the skin now grab that area and you're gonna go straight in like a dart. You're gonna make sure that the entire needle goes into your skin. Once the entire needle is in, you're gonna inject the medication. Once you've injected the medication, you'll pull this needle out. The needle will go directly into the sharps container. When you're finished with that, you will just apply some pressure with some gauze to the site that you injected and just hold it there for a few moments. All right, that's your trigger shot. Good luck with everything, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a phone call.